Whoa. That's real dust. Achoo! Hi. That's about the size where you put your eyes. That's about the size of it. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Okay guys, Magic Mixie Pixlings now has two new additional Pixlings here. If you familiarize yourself with all the others, first they came out with these three right here. If you recall, just by looking at the front, the diamond here, this time in the light pink one is gonna be the deer, and then the blue one is the mermaid, and then the uh, darker pink, I guess you could say almost purple, is gonna be the unicorn. And then they came out with this exclusive here, the blue diamond is the bunny, and it comes in a special uh, box here. And then the two new ones that just came out just call it, a week or two ago are these these two right here and if you'll notice the tops are pink and not the original purple also you'll see that the diamonds here this one is orange and that one's the dragon pixling and this green one right here is the fairy pixling <laughs> that's just so cool you got pink tags as opposed to purple tags on the original one and in addition to that if you look at the newer ones of the two you'll see you have a total of five pixlings here now you've got the fairy here and then you also have on the other side the dragon and they look super cool guys so hey i'm gonna go ahead and just splice in the videos that we've already did on this so that way you can get everything in one stop here now if you've already seen these you just want to go ahead and see these two just go ahead and skip right to the end let's get going so Magic Mixies has a new line that's coming out, a series that's actually involving Pixies. Pixie dust. Yes, we got Tinkerbell. We have three different Tinkers we're going to be tinkering with. It's the Magic Mixies Pixlings. And there's three different ones to collect, as I just mentioned. But And you can tell which ones, and we'll show you, just by the diamonds on top of these, uh, looks like jars here. And this one, it looks like a lighter pink, uh, blue, and is that a darker pink? Yeah, it looks like a darker pink. So let's go with, to start, the lighter pink. Okay, you see it says Magic Mixies Pixlings, and who will you magically create? And you got the three girls here. You got the one that's in blue, you got one that's in pink, and then the ones that's got antlers on her head. Oh, and the other one has a horn, the one in the center of the picture there. Oh, cool. Okay, so it says mix your potion. A Pixling magically appears. Okay, cool. There's the front, and then here's the top. Actually, on the top, it's kind of interesting. Do not unscrew the lid. <laughs> start the magic with the potion guide. Okay, so you don't twist it or do any of that. And we got to start with the potion guide. I assume the guide's on the inside, but... Let's go over to the back here. It says, mix your potion and a pixeling doll will magically appear. One, wow, you pour in something at the top? Really? Okay. And then two, magicus mixus. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. And then number three, all of a sudden you see your pixeling. So enter the enchanted realm of the magic mixies pixlings, where potions flow from waterfalls and fountains. Pixlings spread magic moments and joy throughout all the land. Now it's your turn to create a magical potion and reveal your magic mixies pixling. And then we got this little tag here. I mean, maybe we could just like rip it off. Do I dare? or cut it or actually you can untie it. Uh, I think it's a pixling that tied this. It's a knot. I got it. I know how untie your knots. There we go. All right. So if this is anything, it just, I don't know, looks like a little guide or something. So open it up. Oh, and it just gives you a warning and it tells you the contents of the uh, bottle. It says it's uh, one vessel, one small doll. It's a doll. All right. Uh, one set of ingredients, single use one, instruction manual, one collector's guide. So the collector's guide is going to be on the inside. It's going to help us out. To do that, you can see up here, it says no scissors. Why? Because you could really scratch up your uh, doll thing. So may the fork be with you always. And let's see if that we can get a little purchase in there ah, with the fork. I uh, got a little something. I'm going to try to tear it. Oh man, it's packed. You can see that they got potion stuff in the back here. All round and round. Oh, it's getting thinner. <laughs> okay. We'll still tear on the side here. Oh, there we go. Well, there you go. There's the bottle. We can't see anything inside of it now. It kind of reminds me of Disneyland. Went to Peter a Pan ride, and then you use the uh, cell phone. You can use Bluetooth, and when you hit the thing, all of a sudden, it was a, just a lantern. You couldn't see anything. All of a sudden, you know, Tinkerbell just all of a sudden appears, and she tinks. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Maybe we can give you just a clip right here. Okay, all right. You know, that wasn't in Disneyland. That was her own. We got it from Shop Disney, but it's the same difference. There's nothing there, so, oh, bummer deal. But on the back, it looks like it's got some more instructions. So it looks like we got a bag of contents, but behind this bag, we got other bags. So I'm not sure if this is the first bag. I mean, it's got ABC, but it's got number five. Is that the fifth bag? I do not know. Another interesting thing is you got a water fill line to this part right here, it looks like. So let's go ahead and just unband it first. And let's just, there, okay, there, all right. That's what it is to play at our dolls. Look, we got a number two. It's all liquidy. It's all goopy, man. I know potion's gonna be so goopy. And there's number five. Oh, okay, so here's four and there's six. Oh, great. Well, where's one? <laughs> where's three? Okay, look at the potions guide. Ooh, 
Ooh. Oh, this is fancy. Oh, it's a scroll. Caesar, come bring forth your uh, pixie hitter. <laughs> It's like the front and the back. Uh, it just goes through all the steps and that's what we're gonna be doing here is the potion guide. So uh, looking at the steps, and we remember how we're skipping a few things like uh, what, step one, then we got two, then we skipped three, four, five, six. Kinda got them here. Um, the first step is just to put this, it looks like attention, potion making can get messy. <laughs> Are you kidding? Last time I had a I know, I watch Hocus Pocus. I know how to make potions. And place your uh, potion bottle on a plate for easy cleanup. Remove paper, ring, and acetate. Uh, okay, acetate, I know what that is. Quick! So we look up acetate. And then two, um, we need to, well, where's two? Over here. I need some scissors. Okay, there's two, and it tells you how to do it. First, you got to cut it. Oh, yeah, we got to first remove our paper up here before we get to step two, right? So here's the paper. Uh-huh. There's the paper, and it says remove. How do you remove it? Is that your acetate? <laughs> It kind of looks like a mini toy toy covering, seat covering. <laughs> What's cool is it's on the back side. You got something here. We're going to keep quiet because I read ahead. That's right. I can look ahead. That's what you have to do when you're a magician. You know, you got to look ahead and know what's coming. So yeah, so here we got this and it shows you how to go ahead and cut it open and then to pour it in here. So we're going to cut this open. I wonder what color this is going to be. What kind of goo, man? Oh, it's blue. I just, some of it came out slurry like. Fold end of bag. Oh, so it says fold it in here because it's going to come out all Juicy! Oh, look at it, look at it, pour. It's blue. Oh, this is totally methylene blue, guys. You just die. You just die to have your dolls. It's a special kind of die. Look at that, look at this. Wee! Adventure fun. We don't do what they tell us to do. <laughs> look how blue that is, man. I'm telling you, you're potting into the porta potty here. <laughs> That's what you're doing. It was a toilet seat cover. The acid. That's just a euphemism for, you know, toilet seat a lid cover. Yeah, oh, that's so pretty. Eh? Can you imagine a kid going to town with this, just painting the whole desktop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still coming if you give it some... Oh, okay. There we go. I need an assistant, you know. Someone to do the potion making. I'll just cast the spells. They just make the potion. I can just throw it up. Yeah. Next. Oh, we got to fill it up with water. So fill potion bottle to line with water. You can see it here. So you got to fill this all the way up. I guess it's to dilute this, you know, because if it's too powerful of a potion, you can have three or four or 10 or 20 pixeling dolls. We just need one. Yeah, let them multiply, you know, like gremlins. Yeah, they're all over the place. <laughs> we got to beat those pixelings back. Back to you. Demons. No, they're pixings. This is supposed to be nice. Yeah, I gotta see it. Where is the water line? It's over here. Okay, here we go. Oh, am I getting it there? Is it filling up? I can't see it. Oh, it's gonna take a lot of water, guys. Oh, we got our Scooby-Doo water bottle. Classic. Ooh, this is a hot water camera, Mom. You wanted the pixling to be warm. <laughs> So good of camera, Mom, to make sure that there's a warm pixie coming to her new home. It's sucking in there now. Okay, to the water line, right? Almost like, like their potion truck. Oh, stop. Like the potion truck, if you watch a review on that. Oh man, you put these little things, you shake it, and it's just everywhere. It's like the stopper didn't stop. Oh, what's next? <gasps> we get to spring some uh, precious petals. So the precious! <laughs> and that's what it is. It looks a little bag. Okay, so uh, any way to open it besides cutting the scissors? Can you just like tear it open? Oh, I suppose you can, but where are the petals? What do they look like? Uh, oh, I see something. <laughs> They're invisible petals. Oh. Whoa! Oh, Oh, okay, there's the petals. You have to flip them over because the one side shows the petals, but if you flip it over on the other side, it's just, you know, white. Okay, so you got to put some petals in there. Here you go, Pixling. You like flowers. You like petals. Oh, they're stuck up at the top. One went in. There's a petal right there. I can't add more water. We're already at the line. Come down. Okay, there's another one. Oh, there's a petal, but you can't see it because the other side's facing it, the blank side. So just got to work with what you got. Now we're on to pouring in your Pixling Magic Elixir. So this is what they drink, apparently. Number five. There you go. There's number five. And it gives you a warning on the back. Now this one has a blue top and this one has a pink top. Uh, I don't know what the diff is, but there you go. Blue and pink. All right. So here we go. We got to fold it in. Let's see what color it is. Is it blue again? It looks blue. Oh, I didn't cut it all the way. It's dribbling. I got to give it a bigger cut, I think. Oh, it'll stain the table. I have a pixeling party. Yeah. <laughs> You're all pixlings now. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's blue again. It's a dark blue. That's pretty cool. That's a deep blue. Although it kind of reminds me of disappearing ink because some of it hit the table, but it looked pretty like bleached. I wouldn't try it, guy. <laughs> See if it disappears. Throw it on somebody and say, hey, you didn't disappear. I guess it didn't work. 
Oh, okay. It does have a kind of a smell to it. Okay. It can get quite messy, they say. So far, we're doing okay. We have to add next a dash of antler. I think it's going to be Santa's reindeer. You know what? They don't tell you what the, all the ones you can collect. Where's the collector's guide? Do we miss that? It said that you're supposed to get a collector's guide. Where's our collector's guide? All right. Maybe it's inside here, but here we go. The antler. So we're getting the reindeer. I looked a little bit and I kind of know uh, what to expect. Oh, I think I might have tore off the horn. So there's the horn. I wonder if we got any more horn. Is it just one? I bet it's just one. Cameron's got a close up here. <laughs> yeah, that's not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> there are flowers in between. Yeah, it's a pretty antler. So you got to throw the antler down and see if I can get it. Oh, it's all the way to the top, the juice. It's all the way to the top. I don't think we'll see it. Well, it's there. <laughs> remove the golden ring to reveal the magic word. So here's the golden ring. So we're supposed to remove this. There's a magic word. So this is the golden ring. Ow. Oh, so generic, I'm sure. <laughs> Magicus mixus. You mean I had to buy this to actually learn magic? <laughs> Now you guys know it. You can say magic mixes. Magic and you... kiss. Oh, do you really have to cuss? <laughs> magic cuss. <laughs> magic kiss mixes. And then after you do that, you're supposed to turn the crystal gem until it stops. It doesn't say clockwise or counterclockwise. What the deal? You turn it till it stops. It stopped. Now what? Say the magic words, magicus mixus, and push down hard twice. It's in big caps, you know. On the crystal gem, release and wait a minute. Okay. Magicus mixus! One. Uh, I pushed down hard once, and I don't think it did anything else. Oh, no! Oh! I wasn't even seeing her! <laughs> Oh, look at that. Focused. Look how cool that is. Camera Mom's focused on the gem. She didn't do it. We have to do this again, Camera Mom. Look how yeah, cool works. that is. Look at that. Cool. Look at the magic. Bling. Magicus makes us let me. Release me us. <laughs> Man, you see what I got? I have the power. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to make these mixies now. It'll be great to have collect them all, all three. So this is the first one, the antler deer girl. And it'd be great to collect all three, but have one extra on the shelf just to see this appear again. And it'd be cool if you could repeat this, but I think it's just a one-time thing. I just like the squirrels, how just like kind of like came in. A 10 out of 10 on adventure funnage. Oh, you know what? She's got her deer tail. I think that's a deer tail. You know, like a little pouch or something. That's so cool. And it says, unscrew the lid. Unscrew it, really? Ooh, it's floating. Oh, she's coming out, isn't she? That was magic. Wow, that's cool. The water's clear. It is. How does Moose do that? <laughs> She's just juicy everywhere. It's Guys, so that was awesome. We got to do it one more time. We got to pull her out. So the next thing it says is to pull the cylinder out. Is it another unscrew? I think it is. Now she's all dry and I don't want her, it looks actually a snot bubble. You know what they could have done? I don't know if it would work. It would have been great if they had like, cause it turned clear if you could actually have soap in this. So I have blow bubble. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Look at her hair. Okay, hold on. She's wet, so I'm going to have to dry my hands before I unveil her. But man, she looks cool, guys. Kind of reminds me of like the, like the Monster High dolls. I've always seen them. I've been curious why people are so into them. I and mean, they, they do look cool. I mean, for Halloween, it, it could be creepy and stuff. But here is what fights those Monster High School dolls or whatever. Monster High dolls. It's the Pixlings. They're the good. They're not the monsters. So I got some good guys on my side. Good girls. Dolls. Oh, look. Look what's at the bottom. And it's wet. What is this? Is that the Pixling Collector's Guide? No. <laughs> it's at the bottom. Oh, it is wet. What'd you do, guys? Is it waterproof? You can't do this to us. <laughs> no. Collector's Guide is all slimy. I don't know if it's lamin, and lamin, and lamin, lamin, laminated. Oh, here we go. This is cool. We'll have to dry it off. Look at that. These are cool dolls. Uh, I'll dry them off. I'm just going to show you the front and the back side. These look cool, man. Okay, so we got the Collector's Guide cleaned off here and it's all dry and it looks like it's laminated. So that's cool. Again, you got uh, who you can collect and then you have who you actually got. So first of all, who you can collect. Um, it says, who will you magically create? Look for the color gem. Unia, the unicorn pixeling is the darker pink. The lighter pink is dearly the deer pixling, which is the one that we got, the lighter pink. And then uh, Marina, the mermaid, pixling is in blue. And then on the other side, it says, enter the enchanted realm of the magic mixies pixlings where potions flow from the waterfalls and fountains. Pixlings spread magic moments and joy throughout all the land. Now it's your turn to create a magical potion and reveal your magic mixies pixlings. And so it says, you have created dearly, oh dear, the deer pixling. Potion power, the spirit of adventure. Woo! Adventure fun! And it says, Dearly is the free-spirited pixling with a brave soul. She uses her spirit of adventure to guide all magical beings, great and small, on their travels. With a dash of Dearly's potion, you'll have the confidence to go your own way. So that's pretty cool. So we got the adventurous one here. And it's cool because she's like, you could say she's the woodling nymph. 
pixeling or whatever. It's just cool. So let's go ahead and see her in all her, oh, still kind of wet and juicy. How do you play with dolls? I just, oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> she stand? She movable. I'm having a hard time standing. Oh, she's got a hole at the bottom of her foot. And there was something about where you could actually get her to stand. Because you got extensions right here, right? I just wonder if she could stand her own. I mean, that'd be cool. Okay, she does move. I just want to see if she does move. So maybe I just need to stand her just right or bounce her right. I think she's got potential. Probably not as secure than if you had an extension here. Because you got extensions here that you can put her on. There's a hole at the bottom of her foot. That does help. Riding on top of her pixeling bottle where she was spawned. So she's got the hair and look at her ears. Deer ears. She got her deer antlers and she's got her flowing pink hair. She's got the dark stripe down the back and then she's got, you know, the dark stripes off to the sides and then she's got her deer tail and it feels a little soft right there. That's pretty cool. Deer pouch. And she's got her deer booties. <laughs> she's got her deer dinglings and she's got flower on her boots. I don't think they're supposed to come off. Actually, they do because it splits open the back. I don't know why you'd want to take them off, but you know, let's just for the sake of, oh, they slide off pretty good. Okay, so we'll put that back on. And that's pretty much it. She can move her arms, her hands, cast a spell. Like and subscribe, you little pixlings out there. Bye. Or you big pixlings like me, you know, I subscribe. And then I guess the, the skirt, it is Velcroed on, so I don't know, girls, dress up dolls, whatever, I guess. Maybe they'll have extra fixlings for their pixlings. And did she turn her head? Ow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now she can turn her head. That was just the initial crack. <laughs> Chiropractic adjustment. And she can nod up and down. And she can twist left and right. That's cool. You actually got some movement there and poses. I just would like to get her to like stand on her own. But those high heel shoes, platform shoes, um, if I don't lean her forward enough, it might be a little bit hard. Now the hair is really soft. I mean, you can just... Sorry, thinking like a dude. <laughs> If you save the little, um, what was it, the ring, the golden ring, it has an extension here, and, it, and I just barely remember you can use that to have her stand on it. So let's do this. It makes it easier to stand up. So that's cool. I mean, you have doll stands where you can go ahead and put them and hook them to it, but with the golden ring, she's not going to easily tip over, but with enough, it, she might rock. But still, that's cool. And she rocks. All right. So let's go open the next one, guys. Which one should we open next? Go ahead, hurry and put in the comments below. Ah, too late. Let's do the dark pink. And the dark pink, as you recall, is going to be our Unia, the unicorn pixeling. You guys know the drill, you know, it's on the front and the back. Everything is the same except just for the gem. So we're just gonna go ahead and... Uh... This time camera mom will know to keep the camera down here because we were both like, push, push. Oh, we're pros now. We're getting all our pixelings. We're collecting the whole set. Same thing, guys. Same goo. Oh, in this case, we got, look at that. Zoom in on that camera, Mom. We got the horn. And this one, we have the stars instead of the uh, the magic petals. So in this one, you're going to get the stars and the horn. Okay. So we got to take this off. Righty-ho. And then we got to move the acetate. <laughs> So then we have a whole different set of instructions. Yeah. And then we got to do the two thing and still pink and blue tops. So I assume it's just going to be the same colors, you know, it's always going to be blue. Okay, here we go. Let me fold and fill. <laughs> okay. I cut right along the line. Okay, here we go. Cut just a little bit beyond it. There we go. Ooh, fill it with blue goo. Oh, that's so satisfying. You can see the blue filling up at the bottom here. Oh, there's still a lot of goo juice in it. And if it was made out of Kool-Aid and I could drink it, I wouldn't have a potion. I'd be the potion, just like in Hocus Pocus. Unless you want to cut it right here, it'll all come thoroughly gushing out. So maybe it's best you don't like cut it too far down here. Okay, then we got to fill it up with water. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we got to go to the water line. There we go. Oh, we got to do our sprinkle uh, dream dust. The dream dust right here. Open up the pouch. Hopefully you don't tear these. Oh, yeah, the stars are right on top. And it looks like there's more than one. Ooh, look at them stars. They look good. Oh, got to make sure to get all the stars. Okay, I'll see if I can drop them down in there. I think I got, there's some right there. I got some right there. And then pour in your magic elixir. There we go. And here we go to fold. More, oh, more blue. Oops. Oh, you're 
I know, I'm in a rush. I gotta free my babies. You know, so we got the adventure pixeling. I mean, what's this next one, this unicorn? She can't be adventurous because that job's already taken. Okay, six, add a sparkle horn. All right, there's your sparkle, sparkle horn. And I don't want to tear the horn. Oh, I just tore the horn. It told, you see, the indent was right there to tear it. Guys, don't do what I do. Oh no. We might not get the pure mixling because we got like a cut horn. Here, I'll try to like tape it back. Here we go. That's a cool looking horn. Nice looking horn. It's gonna dissolve faster now. Okay, it's in there. Add a spark horn, remove the golden ring. Okay, we know, magic and mix us. We know now. Turn the jam until it stops. I was gonna say, move your hand out of the way so we don't. Can I turn the jam? I need like- You don't need the hand to do that, there you go. It's hard. Yeah, you got it. See what happens is when you turn this, this part right here turns to the back where there's a hole that you can push down and it pops something to all of a sudden release something, the water that mixes in with it and it dissolves. You can actually see the doll. You can see the doll already? I can see the doll! Okay, so here we go. Two hard ones. One, two. I'll keep pumping. Oh, she's coming through. Oh man, you guys get all the fun. I can't see how magical it is. Oh, now it's starting to clear out. Magicus mixes! There, whew! Glad I got that in there. I forgot. So this is the unicorn pixeling? Okay, cool. I like the star on her chest there. It looks cool. Now, we got to unscrew the lid. Ooh. Oh, cool. She's got a fancy dress. And then we gotta unscrew this. Two unscrewy thingies. This is so cool, guys. Just to watch that again and again and again, so fun. Oh. Ooh, look at her hair. She's got a rainbow corn of colors. Rainbow cornucopia. And we gotta get our collector's guide out. Okay, so our collector's guide on it's Unia. And it says, you have created Unia, the unicorn pixeling. Potion power, dreams come to a... Uh... <laughs> It is, Elmer Fudd said it that way. Bright, sparkly, and full of positivity, Unia is the pixeling whose power of dreams is well known across the universe. With a sprinkle of Unia's potion, get ready for your dreams to come true. Okay, so camera mom, who is it? You like adventure or dreams to come true? You're adventurous, you're adventurous. You don't care about your dreams. That's why you're always adventure looking for dreams. Cause you're adventuring to find dreams. When you have dreams, then that's your adventure. Actually, the dreams to come true, you have to wake up and go on an adventure. Right, okay. So they both work hand in hand. Cool. So let's go ahead and pull her out. And then we got her stand, the ring here. Wow. Ooh, a little bit wet, but look at the hair, man. Look at that. That's cool. That's a unicorn mane right there. And you got purple, pink, and it looks like a little bit of silver of a mane. She's got a horn on her head and a star. And like the adventurer here, she's got um, a flower. And then she's got wings on her back. Do they actually move? Uh, I don't dare move them. <laughs> Just decoration only. Then she's got stars and uh, moons on her dress. That's cool, because dreamy, you know, and then the star on her chest and stuff. And she's got her booties, her shoes, got stars there. And I don't think she'll be able to stand up on her own unless I can bend her forward a little bit, maybe. I just wonder if you can just stand her without the ring. I mean, it's fine. And her head does move. Nah, uh, uh. And then her ears. So her ears are like more like pixie, elvenish kind of a thing, you know, which is kind of interesting because unicorns don't have pointy ears. Oh, they do. They do. They have pointy ears. And she does stand. So that's pretty cool. But she's a little bit hard to stand without this, but we can put her on here to be sure. And okay, if you're curious about the shoes coming off, I mean, if that's a thing for you, look, it's already split at the back. So, you know, so it can slip off. We didn't break it. That's just the way it goes, right? And then one has a star and the other one has the hole. So we can put that on the hole. And it looks like if I can do it right for camera mom, how do you have this like, like this? I think that works. So there, you know, the dark pink goes with the unicorn horn. Cool, guys. Okay, last one, mermaid. I think this is gonna be my favorite here, just when I've seen the pictures, but we'll find out. So it's the same thing, except you're looking for the blue diamond. Uh, okay. I just had a thought. What if they came out with, for Halloween, so the Pixling, which was the good fairies of the forest, they came out with a dark fairy. <laughs> like pumpkin head fairy. Or the witches of the west or whatever, I don't know. So we gotta pull this thing off or we still have to like, you know, do lots of things here in the bands. They started a franchise here. I think they could just keep going with all these, you know, mixlings and pixlings and troll dolls. Maybe that's a thing. Okay, so here we go. And I'm gonna have to open this up because I don't know what that is. It should tell me in the uh, guide here. So this one's supposed to be shimmering scales. Zoinks! And that's actually supposed to be, because it's a mermaid, you know, scales, they shimmer. And then this has gotta be maybe coral or something. Let me see what it is. It's a coral charm. Charmed, I'm sure, darling. Cool, <laughs> all right. Oh, wow. 
There we go. Okay, number two, pink and blue. Ooh, I better not do that, it drops. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go, ready for the blue. Tuck it in. Oh, this one's coming out just flowing, look at that. Oh man, just a little bit of spillage there, folks. Nothing to worry about. We have hazmat suits if we need them. Okay, next, then we gotta do the four. This is gonna be our shimmering, oh, see. If I tear it, then I tear the shimmering scales. Maybe I can, I can like shake it down, you know, so it settles to the bottom or something, right? Oh, if I do it to the side. Okay, hold on, let me see. Shimmering scales. Oh, that's interesting. Here, let me try to pull them out more. Pink and blue scales. Okay, so we're supposed to drop these in here. I try to, oh, see, not dropping in there quite all the way. Oh, I'm missing a scale. And guys, don't worry, it's not to scale. <laughs> There we go. Did I get any in there? I got one up there. So we got to start here, guys. Okay, now we go with their five or six. No, five. Oh, yeah, I'm a pro, man. Save the best for last. Oh, yeah, look at that pour. Just super fast. That's the way to do it. Not to draw it out. Just squeeze it a little bit. You'll get the bubbles out. It's all there. Okay, number six. Then we got the coral. See, it's got a tear here, but the coral fits up to the top. Come on, shake it down. I'll try to do the, uh, the side again, see if I can get away with it. I think I did. Got an opening. I'll go in. That was close. <laughs> From this side, it looks like broccoli. But that side with the colors, there you go. The coral charmed. Okay, let's see if I can get that all the way in there. Oh yeah, I was supposed to add water. That's okay. You know why? Because I'm a professional. <laughs> You're supposed to pour the water up to here, then pouring the uh, number five up to there. So I don't know how this is gonna work. You know, that's potions, you know. You make a few mistakes, a few explosions, and you figure it out along the way. So I think I'm gonna have to fill a little bit above the water line, probably. There you go, I think that's good, right? Well, I know, but we poured in the two packages and that's just make up for the volume of the package, okay. Now, we got to go ahead and remove the golden ring and it reveals the magic words that I already forgot. Magicus mix us, whew, glad that was there, okay. And then let's go ahead and turn the gem till it stops. Okay, you ready for the magic? Then we just wait and then it's gonna start dissolving. Oh, it's starting to come, it's starting to come, see that? Yeah, so don't pull her out, guys. She won't be able to breathe. She gotta breathe underwater. We'll pull her out just for a little bit, okay? Then we'll fill the bathtub and she can swim in there and live the rest of her days. <laughs> So what, are the, what do you think the mermaid special powers are? Because we've got the adventure with the deer, and then we got the um, dreams, the rainbow. Uh, mermaid, I do not know. Breathing underwater. Breathing underwater? Do we really need that? She looks pretty cool. She's all in blue. Then we unscrew this. And pull this out. Get a collector's guide. So the one we've created here is Marina, the mermaid pixling. She's got the potion of love. So there you go, you got your venture, and then you got your dreams, and then you got your love. But couldn't your dreams be falling in love with, ooh, you sweet and pudding? <laughs> Maybe, uh, but your dreams come true, but then potion's a powerful tonic here. Marina is deep and thoughtful and has the sweetest heart. She creates a magical wave of affection with the, her power of love wherever she goes. Just a few drops of Marina's sweet heart potion will grant you your heart's desire. But well, what is your heart's desire? A new car! <laughs> No, it's love. <laughs> so they kind of fulfill all of it. The adventurous love dreams coming true. Let's go ahead and pull her out. And her hair is like, this is actually not as detailed as this one. So it's got two colors, pink and blue. And the mermaid, you know, aquamarine, kind of a bluish green, which looks really cool. And then she's got the orb on her forehead there, representing her powers maybe. And she's got like uh, fins, fish fins, ears. <laughs> <laughs> and she also has it on her legs right here too. Well, that's to help her swim in the water, I guess. And then she's got her cool little like dress outfit. And then what is that? Hearts on her chest there, scales. Um, and then, you know, the shoe thing here. So yeah, the shoe comes off. There you go. It's not broken. It's just meant to come off so you can switch shoes around, I guess. Let's see the bottom of the shoes, uh, the hole. So we can put her right up on her pixie ring stand. And she's waving. That's what she was. Hello. Who would you like to fall in love with today? It's not falling in love with somebody. It's getting someone to fall in love with you. Get her, you know, get her. Hey, make her fall in love with me. Make him fall in love with me. I don't know. It's just a love thing. I got to tell you, it seems like because of such a sharp contrast with the colors of the hair and the dress and then her skin, she pops a lot more. Where these are a little bit more blended in with them, but they still look good. And so I think, um, what's your favorite camera mom? Antler head? Antler head. Oh dear. Camera Mom's always been very adventurous. I'm just a dweamer. 
I like the unicorns. I think it's fun. Okay, guys, we got our three buttes over here. This is the Bar Barker Beauties, you know. New subscriber, come on down. Like and subscribe. You're the next person on Adventure Fun as a new subscriber. Woo! We were on The Price is Right once. Have you ever seen the game show? Back when Bob was the Barker. Anyways, you guys probably know about it. But let's keep going. Hey, we got the exclusive. Let's go with the Walmart first and save this one that has accessories that's actually boxed for last. So this one has got the Flitta. So you can see right there, pink packaging, exclusive Flitta Pixling. It's got mixture potion, uh, Pixling magically appears. You know, just the same thing like we went over the other um, containers there. And on the back is the same thing. It's just that you got butterflies all over here, you know? We got butterflies flitting up in my tummy to open this up. I'm so excited. So everything looks the same just you know the packaging is just different here so yeah look she's got little antennas like a butterfly so she's gonna be the butterfly so you know we got the unicorn we got the deer we got the mermaid and then of course we got winter and who does winter represent we'll have to stay tuned so let's go ahead and open her up you guys want to watch because after you open up flitta first she starts off as a caterpillar then turns into a beautiful butterfly <laughs> I bet it's gonna be all the same stuff, right? Okay, so, oh, look, this is the butterfly wings. That's what it kind of looks like, right? Butterfly wings. And what is this? I don't know, some sort of like bubble? Mickey Mouse ears? Uh, I don't know, a charm, charmed. I don't know, something, a necklace? It kind of looks like that, not quite sure. And then you got, okay, so we line them up, right? So there's a two, uh, four, uh, here's five, which is in between four, six here, so. And it's got a pink little top, it's got a blue top. I assume it's just all gonna be the same color like you know before just all the same pouring in the ink to make it uh, fill it up and then magically disappear and in fact you got the wings right here just showing to you it looks pretty cool and now we just go ahead and cut the top of number two look you can see like even though i cut it you can see just the bubble part right here is sealed further down the the heat uh, iron here so i'm gonna have to cut further down now we can bend it Ooh. oh oh <gasps> I bled on the table. Don't worry, boys and girls, it's disappearing ink. Cause when it comes time to clean up, I disappear. <laughs> Because, you know, you mix the... Okay, we got to mix the water. That's the next thing. We won't get distracted. We're going to get uh, flutter flitting, flying. Oh, flutter. So let me turn it my way so I can see. Oh, that's very hot water camera, Mom. It's really hot. A poor flutter's going to melt. What a world, what a world. <laughs> She's in heaven. How is she going to come out? She's already dead? You burned her. Scald her. I scold you with this, man. Oh, yeah. It's a, like a jacuzzi. <laughs> it burns. Okay. It's kind of like... Ooh, it disappears it with the did, water. It you see that? It's disappearing ink. Man, you used to get that was a novelty item as a kid. You'd like squirt it all over something, ah, ha, ha. and then they pound you in the face. You like, but it disappears. Oh, this is the this is called the uh, flutter dust. They could call it pixling dust because you know little bag and stuff. They'd be stealing something from Dinny, and Dinny wouldn't be happy, and Dinny would come after him. And so we got to do what is the, is it really dust or what is? Oh, okay, good because you know one sneeze and it'd be gone. Oh, you know what? I'll just have to rip it like this because it, it's kind of lodged up in there. The flutter dust is really uh, tiny. Okay, this is your flutter. Yeah, they're little circles with stars. Those are cute. So like little pixie stars kind of like thing. Pixlings. Yeah, we ain't going to steal Disney stuff. So we'll go ahead and put the flutter dust in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's fluttering in there. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, it went, so as soon as I turned it, went all the way to the back. Okay, all never right. mind. Now it's time for the disappearing ink part of it. Maybe this is, I don't know, that was cool. How it just, you know, threw water on it, just totally just went away. Okay, here we go. Maybe we can do this again. Maybe we can spill just a little bit. I'll probably naturally spill. Oh, oh, oh. All right, now I wanna mix it with some water. See, look at that, let's see. Oh, this is the kind that doesn't disappear. <laughs> Beware her bag number five. It's cursed. It's like it's not disappearing. Yes, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. It's not cursed. Oh, finger painting. <laughs> see my artwork, Mom? No, I can't see it, Johnny. <laughs> it disappeared. Okay, we add butterfly wings. I got to be careful because I don't want to cut the wings, man. You cut those things and she won't fly. She's my fly girl. Ooh, I think I cut the wings. <laughs> what the hey? Okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I just got lucky. Oh, let's see, it's right there. Why, 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 why? Oh, I think I, I nipped part of it. See, right there. Man, well, you know, she'll just have a um, hard time making right turns. That's all. We're, we're good. <laughs> Here we go. Put that in there. One, two. Three, four. Oh, look, it's all swirly. That's great. You can see her. She's got, oh, there's something pink in there. 
<laughs> she got the pink eyes. Flitta, she's a butterfly. What kind of fly girl is she, man? She's a party girl. My girl wants to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. She'd like to party. Oh, you can totally see her now. Well, you can see her shoes all the way up to here, but her face is still obscure. Now we got to take her out. Got to turn, turn, turn. She's popping. I mean, it's a different color. That's really cool. It's new. She's got great colors. I mean, they all have great colors. These kind of blend very well, but this one, she really pops. When you're a butterfly, you gotta pop. Oh, look at that yellow um, thing on her head. A butterfly on her head. I bet when she cuts open things, like she's doing, you know, some uh, cooking, she uses a butterfly knife. Take a look at that, boys and girls. And then we got our collectors. Oh, it's right at the bottom. Thank goodness it's it's uh, laminated, I think. It's slimy too. It just, you know, you could have had bubbles in here. Look, there's already some bubbles right there. It shows you all of them, but it shows you her. So it's interesting because on this side, it shows you the other three that you can collect that we've already collected. And then on this side, it actually shows you Flitta. You've created Flitta the Butterfly Pixling. Potion power, luck, and fortune. If you ever find yourself in a flutter, Flitta the Butterfly Pixling will use her power of fortune to turn your day from bad to good in an instant. With a sprinkle of Flitta's also lucky potion, things can only get better. Guys, let's take a look at her. I wanna make sure I pull her out just right. Oh, wow, look at that hair. Oh my gosh, it's the golden fleece. Woo! I think she's got the longest hair, maybe. It's the same, but it's just because hers doesn't like have all these swirls and shadows. That yellow golden mane there, that hair. So cool looking with the pink and stuff. In fact, she's got three colors going on. She's got like a dark orange here, and then she's got yellow, and she's got pink. That is super cool, guys. And then she's just waving, hello. And she's got her ears. There we go. I don't know, butterflies? Well, they're pixlings. Pixlings, you know, little elves, pixies. They're always supposed to have these funny ears, you know. But she represents you know, we represent the butterfly army. And she's got her dress and she's got her shoes and she has a hole right here. So you're supposed to stand her, you know, don't forget your card here and there's the extension and stand her right like that. Ooh, she's kind of leaning back. I think her shoe's a little bit like bowed. It's not flat, but the arms move. She's got the pink wings and the, uh, the skirt looks really cool, all the colors. And that yellow like um, butterfly on her forehead. That looks cool. We'll have to do like a black light just to see, you know, uh, how she stands up in the dark. So what do you guys think? I don't know, man. She just like, you put her over here and she's already ostracized. I mean, she's popping, you know? <laughs> but the other ones have their own where they pull focus and they draw in with some subtle colors. I think Deer was the one that seemed to be popping out the most with these two, uh, the Unicorn and the Mermaid blended more, but now she takes the cock. So let's have her join her Zisters. She's got her twin. She multiplied. That's what magic makes the pixlings do. Actually, we had to open up the other one just because that other little instruction sheet we had here just was wet. I just shredded it when I was trying to like wipe it all up. And so, you know, we had to go for that. And oh, she's got butterfly on her ankles um, right here, her shoes. And her shoes do come uh, off and you put them right back. Okay, cool. That's better than one butterfly, two butterflies, two flittas. Finally, we got Elsa's frozen winter here, guys. I told you, I wasn't clickbaiting, man. <laughs> I mean, she's part of the winter setup, right? You can see it's the exclusive and there's no name on the front, just a picture of her with her frozen wand. I mean, with Elsa, she just uses her hands to create magic, but you gotta have a wand with pixlings, you know, or at least with winter here. And then you can see down below because we got this early, it's part of the Europe collection because it has all these different um, languages here. I mean, you got mix the potion, the whatever and then you have a pixeling appears so we get that right and who you magically create down at the bottom and then it tells you a pixeling potion accessory pack and you can see right here that it's got three fashion accessories you know just the pack is right there and then you know the sides you got a crown here frozen crown and on the back more detail so there's where you get her name winter w-y-n-t-e-r and then it says e-n for english winter's warm heart and smile can melt even the frostiest of folk she brings cheer and will brighten even the gloomiest of days. I thought that that was Olaf. Hi, I like warm hugs. And then you can see she's got uh, three fashion accessories. Oh, actually 
over to the left, you can see dissolved reveal. And what you're revealing, it looks like some sort of a snowflake. I don't know what about the snowflake's about. Maybe inside the snowflake or something, maybe it contains these uh, three fashion accessories, which you have the wand or the scepter. Then you got her little crown or something, or her hair thing that holds her hair back. And then you got some sort of cape, you know. And then down below again, one, two, three, and you're with me here. And revealing this, yay! Magic Mixling Pixlings, let's open up winter, which is, by the way, is on the way. And we got our Swiss Army knife, which has the Christmas lights. It goes well with it. There we go. So that's what we're going to be revealing, whatever's in that package. Oh, for there, it looked like somebody's tooth. <laughs> it's like the tooth fairy. That's who she is, winter. And there's the scepter. Okay, so, um, oh, right. We got to open this up here. I like this top. I mean, the other tops, this one's just cool because it's like icy. It's got the sparklies and the snow and the ice kind of thing, sparkly. That's cool. Oh, and you can see you got snowflakes here. There's snowflakes there, there, there. I'm telling you, it's Elsa's winter. And, you know, just watch, you know, Disney's going to come out and Pixlings are teaming up with Disney. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that just really went after you, didn't it? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Have rubber band wars with your friends. Okay, so let's take a look at this, guys. What do we have? Oh, we have the uh, oh, some different uh, languages. Languages, languages, front and back. But it's still the same steps. Yeah, I checked it over. I checked it twice. I know who naughty or nice, and this works. Oh, look, we got a bunny. Little bunny, foo-foo. I don't want it. So it's the rabbit. It's the winter, what, the white rabbit. The white rabbit. That's what we're looking for in Alice's Wonderland. So many Disney references. Mm. Gotta go back, and there's the snowflake. Do you really want a snowflake? Kind of reminds me me of uh, Donald Duck's uh, Duck the Halls, you know, where it's like he wants to stay for Christmas. And so he gets out there and he says, catch a snowflake on your tongue. That's number 57 on the list. So he, the snowflake comes down, and, you know, ducks don't like winter and it just shattered into pieces. Um, wow. They have all the different uh, languages here, you know. Okay. At the front. This one's the potion guide. So this is the one we're going to go with, with English. But it's the same thing. It's just as the steps, you know, you got your six, you got your four, you got your five in between here, and then you got your two. Okay, let's go ahead and, you know, this one doesn't come with, no, it does. Okay, let's take this off. The top, then the acetate. Oh, it's called a snowflake pouch. Well, actually, you need a bowl of water for the, the snowflake pouch. Nice. And uh, notice on the back, it's a snowflakes. Big one snowflake. Just so cool, guys. Just think it's just so awesome. Just if you're into Frozen, I'm sure you like uh, Elsa's Frozen winner here. The bunny. Don't say it, guys, because, you know, you can't say no bunny cares. I do. Okay, first thing is we're going to go ahead and cut this and pour it in to the hoe. Ooh, it's not Bobo. Oh, <laughs> more bubbles. I'm telling you guys, I think the out of this is probably just, you know, get a wand. You can blow some bubbles. Maybe that's what her scepter does. It's a wand bubble. Okay, it's blue again, guys. We're going blue. Ooh, all that blue stuff. Just to get some bunny out of her bottle. All right, now we fill up to the water line. First, yeah, it's good water. It's potable water, potty. Okay, we gotta go right to here. Good. Okay. Now for the snowflake. If you flakes out there who didn't like and subscribe, well, this is for you. <laughs> I had to do it. Okay, I didn't cut this one. Oh, we got, oh, wow. We got more than one. We got three flakes right there, guys. Yeah, they're different kind of snowflakes here. So, you know, they're no, no longer flakes anymore. They liked and subscribed. <laughs> okay, now we're on to the next part. Potion number T, elixir. Okay, we'll go right there. Any snotty bubbles? Oh, yes. Let's go in and turn and fold. Okay, I think I did pretty good on that one. So I think what happens is that when you push down, it breaks the seal in there that mixes the water in with the blue that turns it clear. Like we did here, you know, the disappearing onk. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, we gotta put bunny head. Oh, you got it. We gotta finally turn her into a bunny. That's the kind of power. Oh man, if I tear right here, I gotta make sure I don't clip off Mr. Bunny's ears. <laughs> oh no. I can see the top part. I'm gonna go in, cover me camera mom. We're gonna do this right. I don't wanna cut off any bunny ears. Gonna go around. This one I think I done good. Okay, there we go. There's the little bunny. Nothing funny about our bunny. Okay, guys, we're gonna put the bunny. I hate to do this, but we gotta get a pixling out of this. I mean, would you rather switch a good a cutie bunny for a magic a pixling? We don't know what her powers are. I mean, the other ones are luck and adventure and like love and things like that, but you know, we gotta make the sacrifices. <laughs> so let's take off the back. There's her stand. Now we have the words. Again, it shows magic on excess right there. So we'll say that, but we gotta turn it all the way around and then we have to break the seal uh 
done. You can see it swirly. I can see the swirls. Can you hear me, Bonnie? Does that help? Oh yeah, it's pumping it. Now we can see the bunny. So that's our bunny. Let's do it. Let's unscrew it. Let's get her out of there. Oh, wow, that really popped. Woo! There we go, there's the bunny. That's cool. I like her little uh, blue heart on her belt. Okay, let's put this to the side. Get this out, unscrew it. Okay, there we go. And then let's pull her out. I wanna take a look. Yeah, that's what, it's a white rabbit. Okay, white rabbit, all in snowy white. And we'll pull her out. Just a minute, let me get her card. Ooh, it's not wet. I think we scored. <laughs> Um, actually, we had to pull her out first, right? Okay, good. I just love it how she moves at the elbow, it looks like. Her elbow joints move, her arms move. Um, she's got love on her shoes, love on her side. And she's got her ears, looks look cool. And it's, it's pretty simplistic. I mean, you had the pink and the white hair, but you have like, it's Christmas time. It's so tinsel. It's tinsel on her hair. <laughs> That's great. Like a call sign tree skirt. There you go, hey. <laughs> Uh, very soft hair. Okay, for her shoes, yeah, they all come off. If you ever want to like mix shoes up, it's curious because I thought, oh, they destroyed it. Why'd they break the shoes? But no, they're supposed to slide them off and on, I guess. It's a girl thing, you know. Play with your shoes. And let's put her here if I can. There's a hole at the bottom of her shoe. Okay, we probably have to bounce her. There we go. Okay, this is the winner, the bunny pixling. And the potion power is kindness. Ah, you gotta be kind to everybody. Winter's warm heart and smile can melt even the frostiest of folk. Her power of kindness brings joy to all those who need it. With a touch of Be Kind Potion, winter will bring you cheer and brighten even the gloomiest of days. So yeah, winter can be gloomy, but you know, if the sun hit in the snow right and it just reflects off that, you can even get sunburned. So we're good, you know. She can bring it in. And then of course on the back, it's got the other ones that you can collect here too, the other three. It doesn't mention about the other um, exclusive that you get from Walmart, but Flitta, she looks great. She looks cool. But our winter, I don't know guys, after seeing all these, they're so different and and some of them pop and some are blendy. And even her ears look like it's something from the fall. Like she just seems like a fall leaf autumn type of a pixie, you know. Just kind of reminds me of Disney's, you know, magic pixies and stuff. And how they're all have different, like one was the fall girl, one was in charge of the animals and stuff. And deer, she's an animal. Uh, well, the bunny is too, you know. And so is the mermaid. Well, she's not really an animal. Um, but anyways, and so is the uh, Flitta and the unicorn. But super cool, guys. Before we get uh, to the end here, we still have to find out what accessories she can wear. So what it tells us is to open this up. Okay, there's three packs and they're dissolvable packs. This one's got the cape because it shows the cape, right? This one's got the uh, scepter, the wand, and this one's got the hairband thingy. So what you can do is what it shows you to do in the instructions is to actually put one at a time in here to magically reveal as the paper, you know, melts. But if you don't want to do that, then just tear it open. But hey, we're here to have fun. First of all, it's this. So we put it in the water. Oh, look at that. It just tears it open. It just shreds it in the water. And there's our plastic floaty up at the top. We got floaties, mom. Okay, we'll grab our tweezers and pinch it off. I'm glad it's in a plastic. So there's our first one. I want to just miles go through all of them. Let's do two at a time. We know how to move with our magic. Why waste time? So this one's going to be our scepter, right? Oh, it's floating to the bottom. Wow. That's cool. And I wonder why it's got the hook there. Is that just something for her hand or something? And then this one's got to be her, her... Oh, look at that. Wow, that looks cool. Let's go ahead and dry those off here. Okay, let's get this hair thingy out. Oh yeah, it's, it's fuzzy too. It's bunny fur. Oh, I got to be careful not to cut the cape here. Look at that. That is so cool, guys. Look at that cape and the snowflakes. And that's winter. I love the winter bunny. Uh, but how do we do this? So there's got to be Velcro or something goes around her shoulders or does it go through her arms? Oh, really? Oh, man. She's got to do yogurt. I don't want to pull on it. If it's not Velcro and I actually rip it, that's not going to be cool. I think we can get her hand in on one side. I got to get her hand through. It's her thumb that's sticking out that's kind of causing some tissues. I can just get her thumb in there. Okay, okay, okay. Got one side. I'm glad she's that flexible. If I can just get her thumb to bend, just, there we go. There we go. Okay, hold on. What do you guys think? Does that work? It looks cool in the back. You can't see much in the front because her skirt already, you know, poofs out anyways in the front here, right? So you're not going to see much there. And then she's got her hair. Is it going the front? Something like this. And then we got, oh, you know, is it going to left hand or right to right hand? It's like it comes up like this and she's holding like that. But how does it, maybe it's like that. That'll work. Okay, I just got to like stand her upright.
Okay, we're gonna go through the girls' Miss America pageant. Here we go. Um, what would you do, the twins? I would like give uh, save the whales and uh, stop global warming. Woo! Okay, we're going on to the next one. Um, I like uh, blueberries and I like swimming in the ocean with dolphins. Woo! And you, a deer. Oh, dear. I think we ought to, like, eat more vegetables. Yay! Woo! Being healthy, all right. In the winter, I think it only ought to come, like, not every day of the year except for just Christmas. Woo! Okay, and then the mermaid. Love, baby. Love. Okay, great. You guys go ahead and vote. Which one's your favorite? The, who's going to win the Miss America pageant? Woo! <laughs> go ahead and put in the comments below. And, guys, put in the comments below which one's your favorite here. Just pick which one is your favorite Miss America. Or Miss World. I mean, we're from America. So, you know, Miss World. You know, this is the world pageant here we got the gals you know and now we're on for their sisters here both the deadly dragon and the wee fairy which one should we do first um i say the dragon sounds a bit spooky let's do that one first and that one's with the orange diamond here guys there we go we got number two Woo! we got six it looks like a berry it's dragon berry dragon fruit that's probably not a good thing. I prefer dragon berries. Uh, there's five, two, and then there's four and six and four. Looks like just some crystals there or something like that. It looks like it. Dragon crystals. Everything's dragon, man. We're not doing that in this video. We're not dragon because we're moving. Move the acetate. Oh, guys, um, this one says uh, it's the Be Brave potion. Why? Because you got to be brave. I got to be brave when it comes to a dragon. Or dragons are brave. Either way, facing one or being one. It's both about bravery. Okay, cool. So the first thing you want to do is you want to... We're going to cut right along the top here. Um, actually, I'm going to go down a little bit further because I can see that that's not going to work well. And then i got to fold it over. Got to pour it all in here. Oh, I'm spilling. That's magic elixir number one. Cool, put that down. Next, we gotta fill the water up to the fill line right here. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know when you're a wizard and you're trying to practice your magic arts for the first time, it gets a little messy. I mean, have you ever watched Mickey Mouse, The Apprentice? He was pretty messy. Good, because I'm almost out. Um, okay, so next, and um, this one says it's gold dust. Okay, now that I looked, I verified it's gold dust. Okay, now you gotta be careful because the indentation when you tear it, you could tear the gold dust. I'm gonna like try to like hopefully shake the gold dust down to the bottom. And then, okay, so opens. See if I can pour it out in my hand so you guys can see the gold dust. Oh, I'll have to actually tear it open more because it's just kind of stuck in the foil there. Foiled again. I'll go ahead and spread it out so you guys can see the gold dust. And there's your gold dust. Feels pretty heavy. That's real dust. Oh, two. Yeah, that's gold. <laughs> Just needs gold. In here, and you can watch down here as I drop it. See if it goes down in there. Maybe. Okay, next. Step five. We're going to pour in the uh, other magic elixir. Oh, boy. It's already bubbling snotty. It's like got uh, bubbles, man. Maybe we can do a, a bubble thing after blow bubbles. And then it goes in there. And you see it filling up. Okay. So much nicer than, you know, lab beasts, which you guys can watch. I mean, they're just roaring and griping and everything. These girls are just nice. They don't complain because, you know, this one right here, I got wrong. I'm complaining now because I wish it was a dragon berry. It's called a dragon egg. Makes sense because, you know, you put the egg in here, it's going to hatch you a dragon, right? Okay, let's make sure I do this one right. I don't accidentally, like, rip the egg. I mean, if it's as big as this, I might be already tearing into it. I just missed it. Barely. Oh my gosh, because it does fill up the whole top. Okay, I'm going to have to go in like this because if I tear it anymore, it's going to be horrible. Oh yeah, see? That's the size of it. That's about the size where you put your eyes. That's about the size of it. Crack it. Oh, there we go. You're dragging it. No, we got to like get our mixly pixeling. I got to put it down there. Okay, after we do that, we got to remove the uh, gold ring. There we go. That's where she's going to stand on it, right? And then we're going to go ahead and turn it till it stops. And then we're going to say the words of Magicus Mixus, give us a dragon from this elixir. One. Oh, it's coming. Look at that magic stuff. It's always fun. Always fun to see that, guys. How does our dragon uh, look like? Uh, look dragon -ish -y? is she? Is she? It's a play on words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I can't see a thing. Camera mom says she likes her wee scattered. I can't see a thing in this. Here she comes. Does she look like a dragon? Is she a dragon to you? I gotta unscrew it. It's just juicing and leaking everywhere. 
We'll put her over here on the side. Um, okay, let's go ahead and just pull her out here, guys. Oh, I had to dry off my hands because, you know, they're wet from all this stuff. In fact, she's just a little bit wet here. Oh, she's bound in. She's still kind of wet. Got to clip the bands that bind the dragon in. She kind of looks like a, a little bit like Monster High. <laughs> she looks like a monster. She's saying hi. I like her little foo foo dress. It's very soft. And look, it actually goes down and it foofs up. Like a troll doll, you can spit her, like, and then it just foofs up. And that's cool. She's got a heart, the, the dragon's heart right there. And she's got the yellow gem up at the top, the blue hair. She's got the dragon, well, those are her ears, dragon ears, but she's got dragon scales here. She's got dragon scales boots. If she wasn't a dragon, I'd say she hunted down a dragon and turned him into boots. <laughs> Look at the side of the boots too, though. It's got little swirlies there. And just like all the other booties, uh, these girls, I think you can actually, yeah, they have splits back here. So you can go ahead and just off and then back on. That's cool. And her hair is just very soft. And it's of two colors, pink and light blue, right? Okay. <gasps> on the back, guys, she's got her dragon wings. She earned them. She can now fly. That's cool. She, she my fly girl. All right. And then we got the uh, little um, tag here that we can go ahead and stick her right on there. She should stand if I bend her because she's posable, right? Dragon girl. She's cool. We'll put her next to uh, Winter, the bunny. And then we'll learn a little bit more about our dragon girl on the card here. It says, you've created Amber the Dragon Pixling. Unleashing her magical dragon spirit, Amber bravely takes on any challenge. Her power of inner strength helps her soar without fear. With a splash of Amber's Be Brave potion, you'll believe you can achieve. Uh, and you got all the others, and it even shows all the other ones you can collect right there, including the wee fairy that we're going to be opening up right now. That's cool. She looks good. She pops a lot out of all the colors here. She's the poppiest. So let's see just how poppy the next one comes at. And this is our fairy and we got the green gem. Man, that was cool. Just like a zipper, man. <laughs> okay, what do we have for a fairy? We got bag number two right here. Just pink. That's cool. Um, then we got, let's see, what does it say here? It's the sparkle of joy potion. Fairy's all about joy and sprinkling and pixie dust. So now we're into joy. So after it goes, let's see, there's two, there's five, and um, let's see, here's four. I I'm guessing that's just pixie dust. I mean, that's what fairies are, right? They always deal with, I just keep thinking of Tinkerbell and the pixie dust thing. Okay, so maybe that's a bag of pixie dust, but fairies earn their wings too, right? So don't like dragons and fairies have this like, you know, this angst against each other. They don't get along. Well, they do in this pixeling world. Cool, let's go ahead and remove the acetate. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is you gotta pour in the thingy. Always seem to miss that part. And you know what? I need to consult my guide. Oh, see, look at that. It'll disappear. So let's consult the guide here really quick. So number four here is fairy dust. This, like I said, and number six is a fairy wing. Okay, so got it right, cool. <laughs> totally on it. All right, and then we gotta fill it up with water. Fill her up, Bob. Leaded or unleaded? Uh, fill up with premium. <laughs> That's what fairies need, premium juice. Oh, we're frothing it now. I'm just like squeezing it as hard as I can, giving her extra bubbles. What's the next thing? Sprinkling fairy dust, really? Okay, so the fairy dust, I wonder if it's just gonna be just one little star there. I gotta shake it down because I don't wanna cut it off. God, it just comes so close to like cutting these things off, but I'm glad I didn't. Okay, here we go. Wow, it, it's they're tiny. Okay, there's your fairy dust. <gasps> ah, some of you like and subscribe. Yay, the dust does work. <laughs> okay. Let's see if they get in there and you can see them float down if I can do them in right. Uh, see, oh, there they are. They're stuck. Okay, now for the next one. Here we go. Oh, whoa, oh. I may miss this one up. We may get fairy with just half a wing. I failed. That's okay. This will make up for it because this is where the wings are at. Oh, I don't want to cut this. I'll go a little bit high and I'll see if I can open it up. Okay, I went high, so now I can like go in from the side. Those are beautiful wings right there. They're very pretty. Mm -hmm. I like those wings. Okay, well, she gonna be just as powerful as the dragon? Here we go. Okay, so we gotta pull this thing off, right? And then we got to turn it, reverse it. Magicus, mixus, hocus, pocus, give us something other than a crocus. Okay. 
Oh, I love the squirrels. I love how it comes down. She's got pink shoes. I can only see her toes. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all I can see. Do you see anything more, camera mom? Is the magic working? Red shoes? Which one's uh, the better dress, camera mom? Wait, you can't make that decision just yet. We gotta pull her out, because you really can't see much in the blue. I gotta see her first. Whoa. She's got batteries in those clothes. Those are loud. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, let's go ahead and pull her out here. No batteries. Okay, it's kind of wet, so we'll just pull her out here for, oh, look at those shoes, those are transparent. If I was a parent, I'd say I'm with them because they're transparent. That didn't sound like I did it. Okay, well, anyways, she's popping. She's kind of like soft up at the top because of the uh, colors with her eyes and the hair, but her skirt just like, it's out there, man, it's popping. Okay, here we go, let's pull her out. Oh yeah, that's right, got to like uh, clip her out here, there. Which way, forwards or backwards, that's still kind of wet. You know, her shoes look like Jolly Ranchers, watermelon. <laughs> Why do I think of food at the time like this? I don't know, but you know, it's pretty cool. This reminds me of like Athena or back then, you know, the goddesses where they wore these like, you know, wraps around their calves and stuff, how it goes up. It just reminds me of the Greeks kind of, you know, way back when. Camera mom says uh, she looks like strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Nick, nor camera mom, she's just short on her cock. <laughs> but she pops. I mean, her eyes are a little bit soft when it comes to the color here. It's a little bit, um, you say, muted. But I love the green uh, top in here for the feather. I mean, they care about nature and stuff, right? You know, fairies do. They live in nature. And this is the mother of the nature. And she's got a flower right here on her chest. And then she's got her fairy wings on the back. And then I love her little, like, you know, flower on her center of her forehead. I love the green, how it ties in. It comes over here to the other side. I mean, I know I'm all over the place, but I'm just barely picking all this up. Up here i like her oh well, yeah then her dragon booties they can come off too right wow this one's tough these jolly ranchers don't come off easy it's kind of hard but you can do it okay it works okay will she stand i think she will okay let's join the choir over here and here she is you have created faye the fairy pixling potion power joy oh that's beautiful faye uses nature's magic to make her heart blossom with happiness her power of joy flows like a warm breeze around everyone she meets just a sprinkle of faye's sparkle of joy potion will lift spirits and spread smiles who doesn't need more joy that's awesome guys be sure to spread the joy Let's take a look at these and put them side by side. And let's see who's your favorite, guys. I mean, it's interesting because you've got, you know, all the way over here, she looks angelic. And then I guess you always have to have an antithesis. She's of the devil. I mean, look, she's got horns coming out. I don't know, she's all like deep, dark color. <laughs> Okay. These two ones really pop, although I think uh, the favorite here, still for camera mom, is going to be the deer. Oh dear. The unicorn, just the different colors is beautiful. And then the mermaid, I mean, they're so like different and they stand out in so many ways, the colors, but the ones that pop the most are these two. I think out of all of them, oh, I don't know, they all look so good. I like her little like deer tail here. It just She's got some uh, accessories that just look super cool. But if I had to go with color, it'd probably be with her. Uh, but I like the angelic. I can't decide guys that's just the way i am i like all of them <laughs> so put in the comments which one's your favorite be sure to like and subscribe because guys we'll have more pixlings on the way moose get those pixlings out <laughs> thanks guys now on to the Fortnite challenge we're not gonna win in a magic mixy pixling skin and the one that i chose is adira i think that's how you pronounce name she's of the dragon rider set and she's got this cool emote it's called the lance dance that's what you got to do before you become a dragon rider. Learn to dance. <laughs> Let's go. And if you guys want to support me before you purchase anything in the item shop, in the bottom right hand corner, you can go ahead and click on support a creator and then type in adventure fun. All one word. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me out. Thanks, guys. Let's go. It's probably New Year's now. By the time I get this video out, it's still Christmas according to Fortnite. I'm going to land over here to try to complete a quest. Use a sneaky snowmando prop disguise near Krampus. Jump. And uh, see if I can do that and also win in the skin here. And there's my glider. Dragon-ish with lightning. It's a cool glider. It matches her outfit, the purple. Looks like you got somebody just right up above me. Oh, going right in it. It's the Wiener Schnitzelbad, the Schnitzel Schnatz. Oh, I got to get in before this dog does. Thinks he's such a hot dog. Let's go. Run, run, run. Okay, got a gun. Good. No. Toilet, no thanks. No El Baño. Shotgun. 
Find us some uh, shield. Okay, I like this shotgun more so. I'm really trying to find some shield here. All I'm finding are just common weapons. Not fit for a dragon rider. Oh, there's some green. <laughs> you go down one level, you get green. Oh, there's the schnitzels. No, that was schnitzel snots. No, just a bot. Okay. Bot no more. Finally, a mini. Yay! Dragon Rider Jeez. Oh, look at all these cheeses, man. Man, they got cheeses everywhere. You like a cheese, Linden Burger, Stinky Burger, Pick the Burger. Cheese, wonderful cheeses, cheese, a glorious cheese for you and me. It loves to please the cheeses. Okay, somebody over here. More cheese, man. The city was built on cheese. We built this city. <laughs> we built this city on cheese rolls. Is that schnitzel schnots? <laughs> I took out not so fly McFly schnitzel schnots. Oh well, I guess you could have a schnitzel in the Swiss Alps. Let's take this and kind of get out of the way. I don't know where the other dude's at. I don't want to be sniped. Man, they made this uh, chapter five the season, not of the dragon, of the snipers, the vipers who snipe. Man, you look once and just, that's where we need to go. You look once, turn around, or don't even blink and they snipe you. It's such a cool little uh, jet car. I know, I don't know my cars. I know my Ferraris. Oh yeah. Bye-bye. See you over at the Krampus Lair. I gotta hurry and complete this quest. Oh, looks like somebody else might have been here and beat me to the punch. We'll hide in the bush first. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's coming for me. He knows I'm here. Why does he come in the bush? Dude, that's a weird movement. Oh, what's this? Ouch. Oh, God. Oh. Man, what was he carrying? What kind of shotgun? One more hit and I'm toast. Oh, let's go. I gotta go. Hopefully I'm distracting them. Go, go, go. Uh, he's a bad shot. He's a bad shot. Oh, good. <laughs> Jeez, give me a med kit. I like it where you can like med on the go. It's med go. Where you really need to go with the med. Gave me some time. Pop in a bush. Nice little bungalow with a bunch of duckies in the bookshelf. <laughs> Upgrade my rifle. I'm gonna do the Krampus thing in disguise. I think it's at the front here. Okay, I'm in disguise here. Now, where's his presence? Anywhere? It's supposed to populate here. Stop hiding. <laughs> oh, I just pooped out a bunch of presents. Oh, place beacon. Okay, I completed something. All of a sudden, just <laughs> presents all of a sudden showed up. Can I open them? They're indestructible presents, and so is the beacon. It's quite the pickaxe thing. Oh, good. Finally, I get some shield. A little bit of slap it, and... Okay. Don't need the snowmans anymore. Take the meds. Upgrade the shotgun. Yeah, take the motorcycle. Not as safe when there's snipers out, but uh, I like my freedom. I like to feel the wind between my bunned up hair. <laughs> hey, what's over here? A snipper. Speaking of snipers, I could use one too. Man, floppers everywhere. Ooh, okay. Shockwaves. Oh man, they left a lot of goodies. Slurp. Nice. And then we got uh, one of those SMGers. Pixlings, let's roll. Let's fly. Pixies up in the air, into the sky. Oh, it's down here. Now yeah, let's to try my sniping skills. All right. I need to hold my breath. There. Ooh. That's a good shot.
That's a cool skin. Ghostly Ice. In fact, they're coming out with a new uh, movie. Ghostbusters Ice Frozen Scared or something like that. I don't know if it's going to be campy fun. More like freaky scary. But we got a big pot. That's all I care about. <laughs> so we're, we're goo. And more big pots. And some slurps. Okay, we're good. Oh, look at that old VHF Tenna. That's awesome. I think that's what made Chapter 2 so cool. Oh, cool. Grapple Blade. That's what I need. Uh, guys, um, Fortnite, since he had such great success, if I can get up here, um, with the OG season, the Chapter 1, Season 5 through 10, they're going to do it in 2024. They're going to do it again. I'm not sure uh, which OG they're going to do. Uh, but it will be an earlier version they're going to replay on the map or make it available. Anyways, that's the scuttle on the street here. He's just camping on top of that uh, floating island. Merry floaties! That's what Santa says in Fortnite. I don't know why he says floaties, but it's kind of funny. Okay, he doesn't have all five because there's two gold circles. One at fencing fields, and so he might have three or four. And fencing fields has maybe one or two. Now look, he's, look at that. He's running around in snowman. He's in prop disguise. <laughs> that's, that's great. I want to snipe you, dude. Oh, I missed. I just got to go one up above. One up, just... Oh. He knows. <laughs> he's gotten out of theirs. Let's go up here. Okay. Four players left. Three players left. Man, when they fall, they fall fast. Wow. This is like a graveyard of loot. So this is where everybody returned back to the lobby. Okay, 1v2. And the last two both have uh, medallions. And it looks like the same equal amount, but judging by the gold circles are the same size. So they probably have two gold medallions each so they can regenerate their shields. Uh, if they get hit and you don't uh, hit them uh, again for a few seconds to about you know, 60, 65% maybe. And they're moving in on each other, it looks like. I love it how they always stay out the outer edge of the circle because everybody can see them and they don't want to be the first one. They want to keep their back to the uh, storm, which uh, makes perfect sense. Very wise. Now here's some shots, but they could just be goading it. No, he's on it. Dude's making a run for it. He's going to drive. <laughs> Almost ran him off. Ooh, he's coming this way. No, I got to go. Ooh, I knocked him pretty good. Or at least fairly get in this zone here. They're down there. Okay, he's got suction cups. Shouldn't have that many. Let me get over to the house here. And... Oh, he's coming. Higher ground. That bush looks tempting, but... No, no, too late. He's coming in. He's got the icy feet. And he's got a crown. And it sounds like there's this... What the heck? Go, 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 go! All right! Yes! We completed... Yes, we got to do the emote. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll have more on the way. Ooh, it looks like I'm upgrading. I'm going from 1 with the... to a 10. Okay, cool. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.